How can a desert turn into a beautiful forest? The technique China used is incredible. This incredible dry desert is situated 450 miles north of Beijing in Cheng City, a Bai province. The area is covered with snow for seven months out of the year. It was once a sandstorm-prone desert that was bitterly cold. However, it has been transformed into the largest plantation in the world. This green miracle is never seen anywhere else. and welcome to Building the Future. In today's video, we are going to talk about China turns desert into a forest oasis in just 10 years. But before we continue, just take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Building the Future, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's get started on today's video. China, Israel, and a few Arab nations have all engaged in desert restoration. Reforestation is done in a relatively narrow and constrained region in Israel and the Arab world. In China, however, they're doing it completely different, and they're doing it using a groundbreaking method. What are the different measures employed by these countries to reduce desertification? Different countries employ different methods to reduce desertification, depending on the resources available to them. For example, Israel and a few Arab nations have engaged in desert restoration projects, planting trees and grass in order to green the landscape. China does it in a completely different way. It has so far been successful in reforesting several deserts. So when China decided to reforest the deserts, it went all out. You wouldn't believe how China reformed these deserts into green miracles. Let's talk about the two biggest success stories that no other country has ever done. The Chinese government has put a number of measures in place to ensure that the success of the Green Great Wall of China is sustainable. One such measure is the use of GPS technology to track the growth of newly planted trees. This allows for more accurate data collection and helps to ensure that the trees are properly cared for. In addition, the Chinese government has set up a system of incentives and rewards for locals who take part in desert restoration projects. These rewards encourage people to participate in efforts to combat desertification and help to ensure that the Green Great Wall of China continues to thrive. Let's look at some of the successes of this Green Great Wall of China. The Chinese government's Green Great Wall project is a large-scale afforestation effort that aims to plant 88 million trees in the desert in order to create a Green Great Wall that will help combat desertification. The project is expected to be completed by 2050. The Green Great Wall will not only help combat desertification, but it will also provide shelter and food for animals, reduce the amount of dust in the air, and create a more livable environment for both humans and animals. The project is a true example of how humans can change the environment for the better and shows that we can fight against desertification. Let's take a look in the next chapter where China has shown incredible success in the Saihamba Desert. We are very excited to tell you more about the story of the Saihamba Desert. But before that, let's dive into some of its histories of this desert. The name Saihamba, which means a lovely and high mountain, is a combination of Mongolian and Chinese origins. Saihamba is located in the north of China, close to the border with Mongolia. It is the largest desert nature reserve in the country and home to many rare and endangered animals. Saihamba used to be a swampy area covered in thick forest and home to a variety of animals. It was formerly a part of the royal hunting grounds during the early years of the Qing Dynasty 1644-1912. But as the Qing Dynasty declined, the area was made available to the public. Massive drainage caused the vast forested area to become a wasteland. Imagine a massive sandstorm sweeping across the desert, blotting out the sun and casting a veil of darkness over the land. This sandstorm is not just any sandstorm. It is a giant walls of sand 10 meters high that move at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, and it is headed straight for Beijing. Fortunately, such a sandstorm is unlikely to ever hit Beijing thanks to the Saibamba National Park. The Saihamba National Park was established in 2005 to protect the desert ecosystem. The park covers an area of 620 square miles. The Saihamba Desert is a cold desert. The average temperature is 5 degrees Fahrenheit. 
The lowest recorded temperature is minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The landscape of the Saihanba Desert is very unique. There are many sand dunes, some of which are over 330 feet high. The desert is also home to many rare and endangered animals, such as the red fox, snow leopard, and argily sheep. But how did they succeed in changing the landscape so drastically? Hubs, building dams and reservoirs, and creating artificial oases. Saihanba, however, has been restored and transformed into a green paradise with a forest cover increase from 11.4% to 80%, capable of preserving and purifying 137 million cubic meters of water annually thanks to the combined efforts of three generations. The transformation of the Saihanba Desert is an ongoing process, and the Chinese government continues to invest resources in order to further improve the desert ecosystem. In recent years, the government has been working on a project to plant 88 million trees in the desert in order to create a green Great Wall that will help combat desertification. Let's also look at another example of how China drastically changed a desert into a green oasis. The Gobi Desert is a large stretch of land in China that used to be covered in sandstorms and was bitterly cold. However, the Chinese government decided to introduce trees that are native to the desert in order to fight against the encroaching desert. They planted nearly 42.5 million of these trees over a span of five years. And today, the once barren landscape is covered with a beautiful forest. The newly planted trees have not only prevented sandstorms, but it also transformed the region's climate. The project has had a number of positive outcomes. Firstly, it has prevented sandstorms from occurring in the region. Secondly, it has transformed the climate of the area making it much more hospitable for human habitation. Finally, it has also created a beautiful forest that is now home to a variety of wildlife. All of these factors have combined to make the Gobi Desert a much more livable place for both humans and animals. The Chain Forest is now home to a variety of animals and plants. Some of the animals that can be found here include elk, red deer, and wild boar. There are also over 130 species of birds in the area. The newly introduced trees have provided shelter and food for these animals. The forest has also helped in reducing the amount of dust in the air. The Ching Forest is a true example of how humans can change the environment for the better. This man-made forest is proof that we can fight against desertification and create a green oasis in the middle of nowhere. The Saihanba National Park and the Ching Forest are two examples of how the Chinese government has invested resources in order to combat desertification. In recent years, the government has been working on a project to plant 88 million trees in the desert in order to create a green Great Wall that will help combat desertification. The Saihanba Forestation Community received the title of Champions of the Earth in 2017 for its work to restore degraded land into a lush haven. Saihanba's favorable environment which also draws a large number of tourists, has made it home to hundreds of kinds of plants and animals. However, the Gobi Desert is a true example of how humans can change the environment for the better. This man-made forest is proof that we can fight against desertification and create a green oasis in the middle of nowhere. By investing resources in projects like these, the Chinese government is helping to combat the effects of desertification and climate change. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Building the Future and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.